All right. My PowerPoint is about my road so far. It's by me, Nicholas Miles. And what I've got to go over this presentation on is just some of the things I've learned from topics that have helped me to school challenges I had going into this quarter. I'm a high school student that's doing the Running Start program, so going to college was a huge step for me and then being able to apply and, apply and whatnot because I didn't get in early. I got in late and these were like the only classes left. I was barely able to get in. There was a lot of doubt if I would be able to do it just because I found how I scraped by in some areas to get into this program. So um, it was a really interesting experience this quarter to actually being able to do college and I'll share more as we go on. And so first first thing that I wanted to talk about were the topics that I joined learning. Like, one of the biggest things that I've always been ter about, terrible at in school in general is just taking notes. I'm like, terrible at it. Like, it would be all over the place, scribbled, like gibberish. I couldn't even read it, let alone the teacher or anybody else. So that was actually really, I, I took a lot from taking those notes files because it, it was able to, like, the outline, I was able to make, take it from top to bottom and legible, readable, line. So I know for, like, conversations from, like, teaching and whatnot. So I could just go down and say, this is where we're at. So if I look back at the notes, like, you're talking about this kind of in like the middle of the lesson. So I look at my notes, it'd be right towards the middle of the section, be easy to find. When we had the visors come in, like the mind map was really nice because they talked all over the place. It was a really easy way for me to keep in line where I was, where they were going and connect to it with other parts they talked about because they didn't really just, they didn't do it quite in a lesson format. They just were talking about everything and everyone was asking questions. I was able to use my math to connect it all together and make sense of it for me. And that, that applied into the kind of the scholarship because that was one of the most influential things I learned about because it seemed so simple. You put in a little bit of time here, a couple hours, and you get $500 or how many hundred dollars out of it. It seemed like a lot of money to make it in just a couple efforts. And um, something I'm going to need to do since I got the Running Start program late, and I'll have a way to uh, it would be nice to have some extra money to pay for the next quarter, the next year's quarters and whatnot, for my scholarship and whatnot, applying for my degree. The SMART rule was really helpful for me because I have a lot of long-term goals I want to be at. I want to get my AA, I want to go into the officer program for the Navy, and then I want to make a career out of it, or find some career I really want to go into and dive into it, but I have no idea how to get there. I know it's not just, oh, I'm just going to go do it. Because I know there's got to be there's got to be goals you have to go to go grab it. I've always been told. So this this smart goal has always gave me the gave me the tense pretense I needed to actually go make these little accomplishing goals towards the long term goal I want to go to. And it's really helped me. Like from note taking, I was able to use that um, make a smart goal out of that for math because I'm I'm good at math but I'm terrible at taking notes. And there's always those one or two questions that keep my grades from being really high. And it's what I need to have when I want to go into the officer program for the Navy. They say they like your GPA at 3.5 and above. So those couple points on a test really matter. And so making that goal is what's going to really help me and in doing it for multiple classes. Challenges I had going this quarter, <laughs> managing my time. I, um, I've done all sorts of different types of schools. I've done public school, I've done online schools, I have done private schools, I've done homeschool. And now I'm doing college. I have different different things. I know how to do school, but whether I'm managing my time because I because I can be lazy and days ago and do homeschool because I don't have to go anywhere. It's at home. All the programs are there for me or handle online. But then I also know how to be on time with everything because I did do public school. Everything was on the minute. Like if class went overtime, you stopped your lesson halfway through and you went to the next class. So I so I was just trying to actually for college actually for me balancing that myself. I found that really good to learn how to time manage between making the office program the calendar to the priority matrix like what do I really need to invest my time in and subjects and whatnot like what is important to me what do I need to get out of it and then also for this scavenger hunt was really helpful because I did not know where to go I'd done a brief like a running start rotation had you walk around but it wasn't really as in depth as our scavenger hunt that we did as a class it was really nice to know where all the stuff was didn't have to go search to confirm where everything was. Really solid and solidified because I wouldn't have gone to all the places, met all the people I met, seen everybody that had really helped me out this quarter if I did not do that. 
And then, like, the biggest question I had is, would I be able to do college? I've never been a great student to the fact that I have a hearing loss. It's always difficult for me to understand what people are saying and whatnot. That's why I always ask questions, always asking repeat and if not. And I was just wondering if I'd be able to do college. So I was able to apply my disability that I had and be able to actually accomplish it. Because I always, I knew I put in the work and whatnot, but that would just give me a B and C's. But to accomplish my goal, I need to be up there in the A's for my goal. So actually being able to learn how to apply that and make constant goals and little stuff in classes for notes and whatnot really made it so I was able to attain goals and stuff. And being able to do college to the ability I want to do college to go for to go to where I want to go in my life. The skills that I learned this quarter that will really help me out in the future. I don't know taking obviously I already stated why that's gonna help me. Just for the fact I'll be able to use in future classes, not just in this one alone, but like math, English. English is one of my hardest subjects for me. Just because I always always struggle with that for some reason. But note taking has helped me a lot to understand what professors really looking at. They really want to go back and look at it. Classroom relationships, that's always been difficult too as well. Always have a hard time hearing what other people are saying. So being able to go over and talk to them and actually make relationships was always difficult for me because half the time I couldn't hear what people were saying in class. And so that's actually helped me a lot this quarter. I worked on it more than I ever had before with other classes. A lot of business alone, English, I've done that. But the people around me, I've done that quite a bit in general studies because I met all you guys. Really helpful for the class that, that we had to switch seats every week for the first <laughs> how many times. That was never a serious <coughs> spot. Ever. <laughs> I was in, I, I, so I just sat everywhere. Mr. Cameron didn't even know where I was sitting. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. And then organizing my binder, that, that was actually really helpful for me because I'm generally, I like to grab all my stuff, close it in the book, call it good. But then I wouldn't have those couple items. I couldn't be able to find my notes that I made. I wouldn't be able to find the assignment, turn it in. I would have all the work done. I always made sure I did the work. But it was never... I never actually brought in, brought in because I had to slid away somewhere. So it was really interesting for me to learn about how to actually organize stuff, keep it well. And I thought overall this class was really helpful to me to learn a lot of things. It did show me that a college was attainable and it was doable. And that's the end. <laughs>